Hello friends, this is Srikant and today we will be solving this problem of modified Capricorn numbers. So a modified Capricorn number is a positive whole number n with d digits such that when we split its square into two pieces, a right hand piece r with d digits and a left hand piece l that contains the remaining d or d minus 1 digits. And the sum of these left part and the right part is equal to n. So for example, in case uh, 45 square is 2025 and uh, 20 plus 25 is equal to 45. The left part is 20, the right part is 25 and the sum is 45. Therefore, it is a capital. Okay. We have to find all such numbers between the given range P and Q. Okay. If we cannot find any number, we have to print invalid range. Okay. So what we will do is, since the ranges are pretty high, we will take a long long and uh, long long so let's call these two numbers as P and Q and the count will count the number of capital numbers we will take these two numbers as input from the std in and then n is equal to p n less than q less than equal to since both are inclusive n plus plus ok now if the number supplied is a capric number then will plus plus the count and then uh, we will uh, print the number followed by spaces ok so and if no numbers are found between the given range count is 0 then we will print as invalid range ok now we have to write this function of is capricor is capricor and first what we will do is we will find the square of this number square of this number can be found using pow function ok and after finding the square we have to count the number of uh, digits in the square in the right hand side and left, left part and the right part ok so first take this in a temporary variable ok so that we count the number of digits and let's take a variable d to count ok now while this is a standard way of counting the number of digits of a number we keep dividing the number till it gets uh, 0 we keep dividing the number by 10 ok and keep for every digit we will be adding plus 1 to d ok now we have got the number of digits in the square now to find the number of digits in the right part what we will do is we will divide this number by 2 number of digits by 2 and take the ceiling of that number uh, so for example if the number of digits are 3 then the right part should contain 2 digits ok so uh, so if the number is 3 then 3 by 2 is equal to 1.5 and ceiling of this will be uh, 1 ceiling 1.5 will be sorry it will be 2 ok so how do you find this so d will do a ceiling of d by 2 uh, do note that this is an integer division so we have to convert this to float because 3 by 2 will be, will be give uh, will will get 1 instead of 1.5 so when we convert one of the numbers to float 
will get 1.5 and the ceiling of that will be 2. Otherwise, it, we would have got 1 as the answer. Now, to find the left part, what we will do is, we will divide the number by 10, 10 to the power d. Okay, we divide the square by. So, on the left is equal to square divided by power of 10 comma d. By this we will get the left part. Okay. So, for example, if it is 2025, then we can get the left part as left is equal to 2025 divided by 100, isn't it? So, 10 to the power d will be 100. So, we will get 20 as the answer. To get the right part, 2025 divided by 100. So, to get right part, what we will do is, we will subtract the square minus the left part sh shifted by d digits. So, the left part is 20 and when we shift by 10 to the power 2, we will get 2000 and when we subtract 2025 by with uh, 2000, we will get 25. So, to get the right part, R I H T right is equal to square minus left and we have to shift by two, two digits. So, we have to shift by D digits, isn't it? This, by this, we will get the right part. Now, uh, if the sum of the left and right part is equal to uh, the number, then we have to uh, return true. So, return left plus right equal to equal to n otherwise it will return false ok clear enough so we will try to run the sample test case and see if it passes so the sample test case has passed successfully let's try to submit the code and see if all the test cases pass so all the test cases have passed successfully we have successfully solved this problem thanks for watching uh, if you like the video and, uh, share the video with others and uh, thank you